Six months ago, my daily routine was wake up in the morning, open my laptop, go to job portals, find new jobs, apply and wait until I get rejected without knowing the reason why. If you are someone who is facing the same issue, trust me, you are not alone. Hello guys, this is Tarun Josh. Welcome to my channel. At the beginning, I assumed that applying for as many jobs as possible will get me at least few interview calls. But... Hello? You are eligible for an interest rate reduction to as low as 1.9%. I did not get any response. I used to think my resume is bad or my experience is not enough, etc, etc. Days passed by like this. Until one day, while browsing through LinkedIn, I saw there was a whopping 2000 applications for one job. That's when I realized if so many people are applying for this one job, how can I stand out? Then I immediately stopped applying for jobs and started to brainstorm strategies on how I can stand out from the crowd. As a result of implementing these strategies, I got interviewed by Google, ThoughtWorks, Binance, Shopify, etc. without applying for those companies using the usual ways. Today I am going to share those three strategies with you that got me these interviews. The first strategy is in my past, I was lucky enough to work with people who are way smarter than me. They worked hard and eventually ended up in companies like Google. I have a dream but I did not get an opportunity though I applied multiple times. Then one day, I messaged one of my friends who is working at Google and asked him if there are any positions for me. When he replied yes, I requested him to refer me. He asked me to send me over my resume and two days later this happened. Hello? Hi, am I speaking to Mr. Tarun? Yes, this is Tarun speaking. Who is this? Okay, hi, I am Vinay calling from Google. That is when I understood the power of reference. If someone inside the company can refer us, we can easily get interview calls from any big companies. But remember, we need to be worth it. What I mean is, Hey dude, this person is asking me for reference, but I don't know what to do, man. Because his skills and his attitude also does not match our company. Maybe I should just say there are no open positions, right? Yeah, I think I think that only that only will work. In my case, my friend knew my expertise, so he referred me without a thought. So make sure you are applying for the right position where your skills are. Now let us say you don't have any friends who are working in the industry. That is when we can use my second strategy. Some time ago, I was hiring candidates for my team at Lenscart. And we used to use a resume pulling tool where applications from candidates across all platforms like LinkedIn, Indeed used to be stacked at one place unorganized. Because we get hundreds of applications every day, it was painful for me and felt like extra work. Next day, I asked the HR to filter the resumes for me and send them to me over email. That way, I was able to quickly review the resumes and give them a go or no go. So here is what we need to understand. The people who are hiring for their teams, not the HRs, the actual managers. They are actually very busy with their daily jobs and do not have time to filter the resumes from the pool. Everyone in the organization checks their email for work updates. So if you send the right email to the hiring managers, the HR will call you immediately or at least they will respond to you. But how do you get these email IDs? For that, we need to go to LinkedIn and open the profile of that person, click on three dots. There you will find contact info of that person and most probably you will find their email ID there. Sometimes you will find those in their past posts or in the description as well. Do a little research, it is worth it. After understanding that person a little bit, this is how we need to write the email. The subject line should be shocking and interesting. If I have to write an email to Lenscart, I would write it like this. I love Lenscart products. This subject line makes them interested in who is this person and why does he love Lenscart products. In the email body, first introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Tarun Josh and I admire Lenscart products. After that, we can write genuinely why we love Lenscart products. For example, I have been using Lenscart's products for a few years now. The quality, style and durability of your glasses is amazing. 
Now we'll write the purpose of this email. From here we don't have to use our brain. We can use chat GPT. So let's head over to chat.openai.com. If you don't have an account, sign up. And in the text box at the bottom, write this text. Write an email to the hiring manager as a fresh college pass out, interested in applying for a friend and developer job about me and why I allow their products in 200 words. That's it. Press enter and ChatGPT will give us an amazing email that will impress our recruiters. We can copy this and paste it in our email. Then replace the text in the square brackets with your details and attach your resume and click. Do not send the email right now. Send it late night so that when they open their email in the morning, your email will be on the top and it will not go unnoticed. This method has helped me a lot in the past to get freelancing work and job interviews as well. But wait, what if we don't find emails? That's when we'll try our third strategy. If you have watched the video till now, you must be liking my content. So please click on that subscribe button. Thank you. A few months ago when I moved to Canada, I did not know any people in the industry in the new country. And I was stuck applying jobs without any responses. Then I remembered, last time when I posted on LinkedIn, there were a lot of comments and likes. I decided to leverage that. I wrote a post on LinkedIn how difficult it was to find a job in Canada while talking about my experience. Within a day after I posted, few nice people saw that post and referred me to different organizations. That's how I got into ThoughtWorks Canada. We spend a lot of time on social media scrolling through posts day in and day out. But if we know how to use them properly, we can achieve anything we want. My story is one of the extreme examples, but I saw hundreds of people using similar methods on LinkedIn to get companies' attention and every time it worked. This can be your story too. Let us find out how. Choose a company you want to join, research their products, come up with an idea for them, work on it, post it on LinkedIn and tag the company and its employees in your post. If your solution is interesting enough, not only you will get the attention of that company, but also a lot of other companies can contact you directly. The key takeaway here is by finding ways to make your work or resume catch the eye of right people, you will increase the chances of getting those interview calls from the big MNCs you always dreamed of. But before sending those emails, messages, just make sure you are prepared. So watch this 30 minutes playlist of mine. That's it for today guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is Tarun Josh signing off.